Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second episode of Sergeant Neutral Plays uh, Divide and Conquer in Ladris. Let's just hop in here. We're starting off against Dornornoston. Dornornoston against Captain Hura. So, he has a lot of Snaga. Some Snaga archers, but these guys are going to be problematic. And these guys are also an issue. But... I'm pretty sure we can deal with them pretty easily. Let's hop Send in them here. back to their underworld! Jesus, that's loud. Alright. Men now fear and missed out the elves. Hmm, that's a shame. It looks like perhaps another idea of either Karndoom or Minas Morgul. Alright, let's just grab the battle HUD. Come on now. Come on now. Alright, there it is. To return to the game. Ready your bows. Ready your bows. You guys out in front here. Over here. Get Stay rid of the skirmish down. mode. I want you to hold over on this end. Over here. We can put all you guys down this way. And here we go. And who are they going to be drilling first? Okay, I'll let them probably have a few volleys on uh, these guys, just to soften them up a bit. But then, once things get serious, I'm probably going to be driving most of it into the Mountain War Hunters, frankly. Here we are. Start at 240. What do we end up with? 20... Oh, that's 35 deaths right there. But now, let's stop that. And let's shoot the Mountain Orc Hunters. And they, you know, as we've discussed, are effective against armor. So I'd really like to deal with them. Especially them being just half-naked men running around with giant axes. I think they should be dealt with. I would rather deal with them quicker. Sooner rather than later. Alright, what do you guys shoot? Can everybody stop for a second? Like to quickly put you guys behind. Be quick. And then we can start drilling them properly. Go, 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 go. They're almost there. And all they have to do is turn around. Ah, everyone's starting to charge. Quickly, quickly, quickly. That's that ish I do like. How many dead there? Decent amount. Come on! 137. Okay, well, we're starting to shoot a little bit of everything, so that's fine. We've killed 13% already. The goblin infantry up here should be able to be dealt with here. Quickly back up. Run, 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 run. Honestly, the longer they just mill about like this, the happier I am. That's just, you know, we've already killed 16%. Fire at will. Our guys are doing pretty well, to say the very least. And the battle has been joined. We're gonna start butchering them because I, I really don't think we need to be worried about our leaders here. Feels like this is very loud. Hold on, just a quick sec second. Let's just drop the main down to 50% here. Okay, great. Much better. Now I can feel like I can actually hear myself think. Alright, so the Mountain Orc Hunters are getting brutalized. The Snaga Skirmishers are not doing great either. But then again, neither are these guys. Oh, but they're the ones that started off with like 92, I think. Defeat is almost a certainty. Let's change that. Let's make sure it is a certainty. 
Anyway, they're going to start, once these guys start to break, that's when we can start collapsing our flank this way. Oh, don't run right into them. Come on now. Y'all are smarter than that. And we have not lost an Elder Winway Noble yet. Maybe we've lost two. It doesn't matter. As long as we don't lose our general, we sh we're going to be just fine. Okay, so they're not going to the be doing anything. They have lost They've lost half, half the men, men, and we've lost 17%. Oh my god, please just kill our... the archers left. Because they're not going to shoot otherwise. Oh, come on now. General's starting to take a bit of a beating, but we'll be okay. I don't want you guys to chew through these guys. Because this is, this is nothing. This flank. <laughs> oh, I swear, please. These three archers are ruining everything. <laughs> okay, so they're starting to waver. They're routing. Yep, yeah, so here we go. Chase everybody down. Everybody stop shooting. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, now we're now we're starting to rack up the prisoners because it seems like they're all fleeing oh no there's just the snaga archers but if i had to pick they're not the worst to let go there's the it, okay one of two there they are the last two mountain orc hunters Alright, so they're chasing down who we need to chase down. And that's it. So we lost about a quarter for the full stack, which is okay. I'm not super thrilled with how big of a beating the Boquendi took, but, you know. Here, let's just quickly check something. They are melee attack 8, defense 13. Okay, so the archers are slightly less powerful than the... So we've lost 167. Today. Who healed? One Bow Quendi, one Bow Quendi, 13 Sword Quendi. That's awesome. But you see, I need to start being a little more careful because we lost a lot. We lost 7, 13, 14 people to friendly fire, which is not great to say the least. But okay, well, we're sitting at eight minutes already, and that was a pretty solid little battle there. Don't you worry, I'm sure there's going to be bigger ones coming up. So. Alrighty. Ah, uh, yes, the load times. Lovely, lovely load times. But here, we're back. See, completing totally does work. We're going to ransom. Oh, the ransom was actually accepted. Interesting. And so one of the things that I'm probably going to be doing this turn, or at least this episode, is focusing on my expansion into um, so Woodland Realm over there. Where's my diplomat? Okay. Your order. That's very yes. easy to do. Without question. Bye bye. Stopping here. So Q stalled. Yes, because we are very much in debt. Come, my brothers. But I'm probably going to take him and head down and try and capture Anonenorod. And then there's Austin Ethel down here. 
But I don't know, Rod, I think is our more logical choice at this point. Go away. Oh. I'm gonna stick you. You wee bastard. Oh well. So yeah, the Builder's Guild House is gonna take a little bit of time, and the Fortress of Zagkala. I would like to probably get the Builder's Hall going as fast as possible. Not the Builder's Hall. The artist Studio or the Builder's... No, let's do the Builder's Hall first. Trade increase. So we've already got Zagkala, which makes me very, very happy because that is an awesome... It will become a good recruitment zone. But we need to start reclaiming Eregion because that will help us out because those are kind of, you know, there's already more elven culture there. So that will also be very nice. Seriously, elves, go away, dude. For the elves. We've defeated their wretched armies. Onward! So we'll Stop go here. Oh, I don't have enough money. Of course I don't have enough money to build a tower. There's Stay one, alert. two, three, four, five, six. So we should be able to slam them. Q's still stalled, yep. And we're get losing more money. War declared Dominion of Isengard and Kingdom of Rohan. And, hmm, interesting that the Dark Lord of Mordor yes, and I are becoming buddy buddies. Yeah. Tomorrow's journey planned Do out. we have Stopping diplomacy here. with... Yeah, Greyhaven's Linden, Vale of Anduin, Northern Dunedain. So next spot I probably want to go is here. And the Dwarves of khazad would also be logical kind of allies in this area. So here we go. Imladris is doing well. We have Elro here, the chivalrous. And we've got Elidin and Loremaster Elrond holding down Come the fort brothers. in Zagkala. Because as we saw, between the two of them, they can run train on a lot of people. They can make many, many orc widows if orcs get married. They don't get married. I hope they don't, otherwise this would be a much, much grimmer game. Just butchering all of these orcs, ripping apart orc families, ruining orc scholarships. Have your weapons ready, so, war riders are irritating. Raider Warband, Raider Warband, Goblin Infantry, and two Goblin Archers. Okay, so frankly, that's a little... It's got a little more teeth to them than I anticipated. But I think what I'm going to do is probably siege them out. Yes, my lord. Always happy to oh. be with you, trusted friends. No, I don't want to talk to you this guys. This proposal is of military interest. access. That's totally fine. We cannot until we meet again. I wanted tar filling. So we have outstanding relationships with um with the Vale of Anduin, which is lovely. I do love promoting happiness and joy and peace. Especially when it's, you know, peace through the corpses of hundreds of thousands of orcs. It's probably my favorite. That's what gets me going in the morning. Okay, Oskiliath is under attack. Oskiliath has been under attack for a very long time, friendos. Elves. So see, I could assault it's now. But there's day. Captain Hura's back. I think I'm just going to let them soften up, weaken up just a little bit. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to be getting two more of those. So in two turns, we'll be able to assault. Yes, my lord. What is it you wish to do? Let's get some trade rights. Hey, Legolas, how you doing, good. buddy? Another proposition for us, then? Map information. How about an alliance, too? I must say, nope. there how is about just an alliance? To propose. Let's not nope. take this. Okay, okay. That, more that made me sad. Sword Quendi. Wonderful. So they're 500 and they're 350. Ugh. My lord, I'd rather just throw out the 350 guys. <laughs> Elves, elven warriors. But then again, Tulkus's faithful are being just wasted here. 15, 15 attack. It's almost double my lord. the strength. For the light. So I think I will send them down to Dorinostron. Yeah, now we're now we're gonna be now we're losing some serious cash, but. To me, that doesn't bother me quite as much because we can take the two units of Tulkus' Faithful and put them into the fort, which is right under an an Rod. <clears throat> and we are going to be in debt for a little bit, but I think we're building a really, really solid base for us to be able to attack later on. Onward! 
See, because there's another... There's a castle up here, Kamath Bryn, I think, but the only reason why I don't want to go after Kamath Bryn is because that makes us immediately border Angmar. And frankly, I'm not too, too keen on inviting Angmar to our party. Yes, my lord. Forma! So here we are. Out right here, the chivalrous. Q stalled. Still stalled, I'm aware. Orcs of the Misty Mountain, we have poor relationship with them. My not lord. terribly surprising. So here, let's go down here. Without question. Stopping here. He's stopping there. Who knew? Okay, so they're doing well. How much is your upkeep, buddy? I can't tell. Oh well. Um, Elves. So we've got one more turn until we crush Anonen Arad. And then I can leave a token force, because then, especially with the two units of Tulkas as faithful, we should be able to smash into Austin Ethel as well. But of course, we also need to be careful that we don't overextend here. Because if we overextend, that's probably the only way you can really, really lose in terms of the elves. And I would feel pretty dumb if I lost this game. I mean, lost this campaign. Orcobal. Alright, so now we're going to send them together. And now we are going to go straight for him. Yeah, frankly, this shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm also going to put Tulkus' Faithful out to, on the front line. Because if they lose units, that is fine by me. Because that means that I don't have to pay as much for their upkeep. So we're going to start the deployment. Okay, this is wrong. I don't want them. I want these guys. And then these guys can folk can be kind of the main thrust in the middle. These guys I would rather have kind of hit the sides. Yeah, so you're going to be hitting here and then probably here. So you go here, you go here. And then these archers I'm going to post up in the back because they have towers here and that's going to be shooting us and I'd really, really rather not lose a ton of elves um, due to the tower. Alright, so now we can start the battle. You guys hit that. You guys hit that. You guys hit that. And then if I can get the three elves, the three elf units of elven archers to run up here. Fly, my friends, fly. You guys post up here. And you, don't forget, you're also going to be leading. There's something so cool about seeing your entire force move out like that. Oh, do not... I want you guys to shoot the warg riders. Because they're, they're the only ones that can, that can be really... I mean, warg riders are just always a pain to deal with. Oh, I love seeing them die. Did we? I think we only killed two there. Okay. Frankly, that just means there's two less warg riders to deal with them. And we've just got a bunch of raider warbands. They're decent units, but they're they're not terrifying in any way, shape, or form. And look at this elven city. See, it's just crying out to be saved by elves. It's meant to be retaken by us. Alright, so... This is having somewhat mixed results, but it's killing people, so... Our men have reached the gate. Goblin infantry also just starting to take some hits. Ooh, 55. Oh, so now they're really starting to die. But now it's because we're starting to hit them from the side. Here. We're through the enemy's walls, into the breach, and on to victory. Oh, we hit them all at the same time. I did not even notice that. Slam into them, slam into them, slam into them. You guys 
charge into the middle. You guys charge this way. You guys charge that way. Just oh, brilliant. We are just slaughtering them now. Continue like this, we, we will, will smash the enemy. enemy. You're damn right we are. Alright, so move up this way. You, I want to also charge probably on this side to help kill that goblin infantry troop. We've captured the enemy's walls. And here we are, and once we push through here, which will not take a tremendous amount of time. The enemy general lies dead. Oh, and the enemy general has fallen. Brilliant. Go, 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 go. I'm less worried about them getting hit in the back because the general is going to be coming out to deal with that. And now the archers run up. I want you to be in range of the goblin archers and firing back at them. Bingo. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, just properly slice that guy. Bye-bye. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ruin, ruin their archers' lives. So we've lost 7 for 23%, which is a great combo as far as I'm concerned. I want you guys to s come back and then slam them in the back. just went down. Oh, he got hit with an arrow. Come on now, buddy. Good. Are they all shooting at the goblin archers? I hope so. It looks like it. Good. Yeah, so this goblin infantry unit is just getting wiped out by... Here, now we just have to start breaking them. And it looks like they're going to start breaking in no time. Perfect. 12% for 43. That's exactly what I like to see. Tulkus is faithful is exactly what I needed here. Because they provide just enough of that kind of extra oomph. Here, I want... Yeah, so now they've broken. Great, Only and now Tulkus is faithful. Can run and deal with them. You guys can actually come in and help. Who are you attacking now? Oh, okay, that was just that last... Okay, we have to break them quickly. Yeah, because I don't have anyone... It, it, it would be kind of a waste of a unit to send them all the way around at this point, because it's a little too late. And I think they're even out of arrows now, so... And here come my... Archers. Uh, they're sh them showing up just shattered this goblin infantry unit, which is lovely. And now, actually, that I have this huge group of elves, go this way. And now that strategy is also kind of done at this point, now it's just, we just gotta hit them. Now the grind is just real. Go, 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 go. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Okay, well, if you want to charge up this way, go that way. But I've got my archers swinging around. And it looks like, did they break? No, they didn't. They are actually responding to my units showing up. Look at that AI. Look at that artificial intelligence. Into the 
Yeah, now we're just slaughtering them. These poor goblin archers never stood a chance. Alright, come on. I don't want you to go this way. Push through, push through, push through. There it is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we take Anonetorot. Because there are 10, 9, 8. <laughs> they just died too quickly for me to tell. There it is. Alright, so that is a clear victory for us. And that I will absolutely take. So we've taken Anonetorot. And now we'll be able to go and check out Austin Ethel. But that will probably be in the next episode. But we'll see. We'll probably end with a quick end turn here and see what happens. And this, I actually think... Oh no, those are... This might be raiding Mithlond because of the swans, but I'm not entirely sure. Alrighty, there we go. We must defend these We're gonna lands. occupy this settlement. Guard this area. We're gonna repair this when we can. And see already all this elven culture. Very nice. And will we oh we're actually gonna start making a little bit of money. That is bizarre for us. So I will take these Come guys, two of these guys, these guys, my lord. And this guy. For the light. Elves, and we'll move we up that up way. I hate this. Alright, no. Growth, come on. There it is. Just so we're not immediately going to war with each other. And that should be enough to hold against most things. There it is. Key stalled, you're right. Any Arnie route, Storad Nostron. By the light of Elbereth! And Imlager's Fort. We're making 70 gold gold coins a turn, and that is a horrifying army. Stick you. But we will see what happens. We are moving down. And we will see what the orcs... Oh, Dwarves of Kajazoom. Uh, alliance and Trade Rights. You're absolutely right. I would like to do that. No, no, no. Not bless me. Bless you. Oh, and thanks to that, we're making 200 extra gold in Zagkala alone. Misty Mountains. Yep, that was anticipated. Hmm. It could be a little more this concerning. Because if I lose both of them, that would be a huge bummer. <laughs> a gift 2,000 gold coins? Why, thank you very much, dear council. Queue stalled. Yep. Alliance announced. Great. New family member... So they like me. Have a taste of my blade. Okay, frankly, there's nothing even remotely scary about them. And these guys are stupid scary. So we will see how that Science. goes. I'm going to throw it's them in theory. here for a second. Because then we can start making some serious goal money back. And then we will hit another end turn. Then we're going to make friends with Lorien. But that will probably be in our next episode. But we will find out. Alright, here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but we are 29 minutes. So, we are going to fight for Zog Kala in the next episode. This is Sergeant Neutral. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral. Signing out.